Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are back, and we're actually in hard mode. Today, we're gonna have to buy a field, buy some farming equipment, and get some money uh, in order to actually progress. We're gonna see how far we can get in five episodes, and we'll go from there. Also, I don't know what that voice was, but if you guys enjoy it, let me know. Anyway, we need to find a field we can buy, and we need to find some tractors, and some equipment we can also buy as well. So let's hit check down to the store, and get ourselves our first tractor. Alright, here we are at Clever Motors! What a what an interesting name for a store, eh? Let's go ahead and get over here, and see what kind of tractors we can buy. I don't even know how much money we have currently, so let's go ahead and go into this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't think I want one of these. We have 500,000. That's actually a pretty decent amount of money. I don't want to go for something small though, so let's see what we can go for. Okay, I know this is not the best option. By far, this is not the best option. However, I've never really been able to buy one of these Volvos. And I really like them. So let's go ahead and try and set this up nicely. And we will go with it. Do we want the fenders? It does make it look nicer, but no. Front weight. We're actually going to go with a very slight front weight. 250 kilos. That's actually quite heavy. And yes, I want a beacon as well. So there we go. This is going to be our first tractor. Nice. Alright, first tractor has been purchased. Let's move ourselves into the sunlight so we can see it. We'll jump outside and have a little look around it. Look at that! She's beautiful! Alright, now we need an actual field. And we need to see if we can actually farm it. Alright, so looking at the map, I actually want something very, very squared off, to be totally honest with you guys. So like field 17, field 16, either of those seem to work for me. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to go up there somewhere, kind of, kind of. I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, I'm not very good at picking where I want to be. Maybe this field right here, because I, th I think it makes sense. Field six. However, it does make sense to figure out what's in it first. It looks like it could be sunflowers. Yes. What if I bought this patch of land down here? That's still sunflowers. The only issue with that is you need a specific... Uh, tractor or a specific harvester to actually harvest it, don't you? So I don't think we're actually going to do that. We need a field with something that we can actually harvest in it. So let's get away from all the potatoes, all of the stuff that we can't harvest, obviously. Corn is a bit of a dangerous one. I'm not sure whether we should or shouldn't go for that. What is this? Oats. You know what? 114,000 for a field full of oats. Let's do it. There we go. Alright, so we're back in our Volvo, let's go ahead and head down to our field and see what it actually looks like. Cause I'm not sure just yet. Okay, so we are on like a dirt track now, or a gravel road, I guess. Uh, we are gonna head down here. I think we just cross over the bank, or the little river, or stream, or beck, or whatever you wanna call it. And I think we will actually be on the field that we own. The thing is, we're obviously in a Volvo BM, we're in a tractor, not a harvester, so even when we get there, we won't be able to harvest it, even if it's ready to be harvested. Uh, it doesn't look like it is, though. It looks like it's just been planted. So I probably shouldn't have bought this field. Carrots? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. That's not what I wanted. Oh, carrots? What? Oh, no, this is the oats. For some reason, I thought I'd turned it off, but actually, there's another... <laughs> oh, no. There's another row of stuff, isn't there? Oh, no! Alright, we are gonna be harvesting carrots very soon, then. Interesting. Uh, it is worth looking, though. When do you actually harvest carrots? Down here? Planting season is there. Okay, and harvesting season is, like, now. But these aren't ready to go, so we're, we're very close. Alright, well, anyway, since we've made that mistake, let's go to vegetable technology. And we're gonna have to try and get a carrot picker upper device? <laughs> um, and honestly, we do have enough money for it. I just don't know about it, you know? That one will pick up two rows at a time. Is it worth doing, though? Not really. What about this one? You'd have to have, like, a guy next to you. So I'd have to buy another tractor. I could do that. 
I could totally do that. What's the difference between these two? This one has some sort of storage. Ah, interesting. But that one's a lot cheaper. That one is a lot cheaper, but I would have to buy another tractor and a trailer in order to actually use this. I think that's probably worth it. Let's do it. So, it picks them up, and it chucks them into a trailer next to it. Uh, the thing is, we're gonna have to hire a worker in order to actually make this work, but I guess that's fine. Also, for any of you being like, why aren't you... Oh, hang on, we're gonna have to reverse out of here. Why aren't you leasing the equipment? Well, it's because I don't feel like that's in the spirit of hard mode. We're gonna have to buy everything. So let's reverse around this corner, and we'll travel back up to the store. Wasting fuel, I know. Uh, but we'll pick that thing up, and we'll bring it back here. We're then gonna have to purchase a new tractor, and... I guess a trailer as well. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, I didn't notice all of those things up there. This thing has aircon? This is incredible. Also, is there like a hatch in the roof? I can't quite aim straight up, but it looks like there is. So there's like a sunroof on this thing as well. Oh, this is our store. And that's our equipment right there. Look at it. We'll be able to harvest uh, carrots in no time. All right, let's get in front of this guy. Yep, let's reverse up to it. Oh, which bit do I actually attach onto? Is it here or is it not here? I think I actually attach on over there. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. So, I think you attach on down here. As long as we fit. There we go. Ah, look at that. It fits this tractor so well. Good. All right, so we're going to need another tractor, and I'd actually like kind of a fast one. You know, I didn't actually check if anything was on sale earlier, and there is actually a truck that's on sale, but I've never actually managed to get this thing to work properly. Although it does say it's a roll-on, so uh, if we go back and we go to... Oh, I don't know what... I don't know what this thing can actually pick up, but it's like big storage bins, isn't it? I like the idea of going with something like this. How expensive is it? 16k. Is it worth the risk? I mean, it's probably not worth the risk. But, I don't know, at the same time, maybe it is. I don't even know where it would be, so... Is this a roll-on, roll-off grain hopper, or is it not? That's the thing. It looks like it's this that we actually need. But I don't think that's a roll-on, roll-off one. This is, though. So, is it worth the risk of 13,500 and then another 16,000? Bodywork? I think I want to go with, like, a red colour. Crimson red. What's this one? Very bright. Oh, that's way too bright. We'll go with this, and the cover will be like a grey white. Well, I'm buying it. Yes. Okay. This could be a colossal waste of money. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so the configuration we've got is what we're going to stick with. I'm going to change the color to also be the same red. And the chassis... I don't know, should we have it be like a, a, a lighter color or should we keep it as is? Probably as is. So, this is going to cost us 22,000. Is that because I painted it? Paint costs 400. I don't know what's costing me more, but yeah, sure, buy. Yes. Okay, now we don't need an extra tractor because our truck is going to be... Oh, I don't know if this is going to be good. <laughs> Let's see if this works. All right, turn on the engine. Okay, I need to figure out how to actually get this to work. This is going to be very interesting. And it was very risky of me to actually go with something like this as like one of my first vehicles. But I genuinely don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, here we go. I pressed the button to lower containers. So let's have a little look, see what happens here. Oh, the arm is going? I wasn't expecting it to be so cool. It's really cool. Let's drive forwards because I think we're going to be a little bit too close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Go backwards. Connect on. And lift container. Oh, guys! Look at that! That's amazing! I mean, the fact that it's roll on, roll off doesn't make any sense because we don't really need it. <laughs> but, um... That's still really cool. Yeah, so as soon as that gets to the front, it is just on there. The only issue I see with this, and it could be a really big issue now that I think about it, it might not fit. Um, yeah, so when we go to unload the carrots from this guy, 
Uh, it might not fit, which is really, really bad. Oh, uh, oh no, it looks like yeah, it's actually quite a big thing. All right, there we go. So if I can lift this up really far, we should be able to like harvest carrots and drop them in there as we go. That is beautiful. What a set of machines we've got. Awesome. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and take these over to our field. And then I think we'll have to buy a house. Just cruising in my Volvo. This is awesome. Uh, how much fuel has it got? It seems to have quite a lot of fuel. That is very good. Let's go ahead and go down here. I'm just going to show you guys the way to it. So if we look behind us, the store is just there. If we then go down this little track right here, this is the way to our field. Just down this area. And we'll be there in no time. Obviously, we can't actually harvest anything yet, which is unfortunate. But, um... We will be able to soon, which is good. So yeah, just down this field we go. And then as soon as we go around this corner, there's a little bit of a ditch. A ford, I guess. Fjord? F fjord? Ford? Um, which is just like a little bit of water that you drive through. And then on the other side is our field, just there. That's sick. Do we have anywhere we can actually park up our vehicles and stuff? We don't really seem to have that much land off to the sides. Which is kind of unfortunate. Also, what's growing in this field? What's this stuff? This is parsnips. Interesting. Right, let's go ahead and reverse back. Go around the corner right here. And I'll park up the tractor. For right now, just here. Good. Alright, we are back in the truck. Let's go ahead and travel down to where we need to be, which is, again, just down the road. This is sick. I'm actually so pleased this ended up working. Because look at it! It is a beast! I do want to see what other roll-on, roll-off um, attachments we can actually have. Because I think it'd be really cool to have like a flatbed and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not actually sure what we can and can't have. So we're going to have to try and figure that out. But yeah, for now, we're going to go ahead and travel to the field and park up as well. Alright, we got to get a picture of our crazy machines together and our field. So this right here is the field, obviously, and these right here are our crazy machines. I'm really happy I went with the Volvo. It's not very cost effective, I'm not going to lie, but it's so cool to actually have one. So there you go, this is the start of our farm. Alright, so one of the last things that we are going to do today is try and figure out if we can actually have a, a house. <laughs> Essentially, we need a house, and unfortunately, we don't really have that much land in order to put the house on, because we own this field, and that is it. That is all we own. So farmhouses, we need either a very small one like this. Actually, this totally works. We can go with like a, a, little, a little hut. I'd like to actually put it here, but unfortunately, that's not our land. So it is actually legit going to have to go, like, here? Which is not the best, because obviously we block the field a bit. Or we can obviously put it on the side, which is also not the best, but still, I guess it's fine. So let's go ahead and try and put it here. And if we need to, um, you know, add like a path and stuff like that, we totally can. There we go. There's our house. Interesting. Uh, and yes, I'm already going to do some landscaping, which is absolutely insane. Uh, you don't really, or you shouldn't really do this, to be fair. So we're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. And we're just going to do it out to the road, essentially. There we go. This is our little patch of land. That is our little house. <laughs> Interesting. Right, let's go ahead and park our, tr our tractor and our truck at our house. And we'll probably have to leave it there. Okay, so all parked up. There is literally not very much room at all to actually park our truck here. And in fact, the box is actually overhanging the back. Our tractor definitely fits here and our house actually fits in quite nicely too. So all we gotta do is wait for the carrots to be ready and then we can harvest them and then go sell them in our truck. The other thing I wouldn't mind looking at as well is the other roll-on, roll-off stuff. So in order to find that, we're going to go to trucks. Yes, we're going to try and find the lorry we're using, this one. And we're going to go to combinations. There is literally just this. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, well, anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.